Alabama softball's history with traditional powerhouse Arizona began as expected for a fresh-eyed program. It took four games to even score a run and 11 to get a win but as the Crimson Tide built a program, those 9-0, 13-0 and 8-0 losses from its inaugural season in 1997 seem lifetimes in the past. The old guard will reunite with the next generation once again at the epicenter of the sport in Thursday's Women's College World Series opening round. No. Three-seeded Alabama and 11th seed Arizona will meet at approximately 6 p.m. Central Time in Oklahoma City. Since losing those 10 straight to Arizona from 1997 to 2006, Alabama went on to win six of the next eight with half of those wins coming in the Women's College World Series. That includes a 2-0 win in 2019 that eliminated the Wildcats making their first trip to Oklahoma City since 2010. Alabama coach Patrick Murphy, who has led the program for 23 of its 25 years, called Arizona's Mike Candria the gold standard in the sport. Candria is in his 35th season having coached the program to eight national titles starting in 1991 with its most recent in 2007. He's 1,674 won games with Arizona as opposed to Murphy's 1,147 with the Tide. Murphy on Wednesday being asked about Candria early in his career making one of Alabama's first trips to the WCWS. And I said I want to be like Mike, Murphy said. At the time, I was pretty young and we were new up here and he was the guy everybody looked up to here in softball and had won an ungodly number of championships and games. He has stayed current and that's pretty cool as a cool as a coach. Sometimes you think the game passes people by, it has not with him. The Wildcats took a pair of games from Alabama in Tuscaloosa early in the ill-fated 2020 season by 2-1 and 6-5 finals. Alabama, 50-7, is riding a little more momentum into Oklahoma City as opposed to Arizona. The Tide won 18 straight games entering the WCWS, sweeping through every game after losing two straight to Florida in mid-April. Arizona is 41-13 after upsetting no. 5-seed Arkansas with a two-game sweep in the Fayetteville Super Regional. The Wildcats lost three of the last four regular season games to no. 2 UCLA. A week earlier, Oregon took 2 of 4 from Arizona after the Wildcats entered that series 33-8 and ranked no. 9 nationally. Arizona is making its 28th trip to the WCWS, second only to UCLA's 33. The Wildcats first made it back in 1974, 23 years before Alabama started its program. Arizona was the no. One team in the nation when it run ruled the Tide playing only its seventh and eight games of the program's first season in 1997. The Wildcats were the defending national champs playing in that tournament in Lafayette that February and would go on to repeat that spring. Alabama is seeking its second national title in its 13th trip to the WCWS. It came within a win of the championship series in 2019 before falling to Oklahoma in an elimination game.